good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night from wherever you are watching from. This is Anoto in China. So I landed safely and I landed very sound and uh, I'm alive and kicking. Actually, I'm inside the city. I took my luggage home and I got business to do. I have to check some bank accounts and uh, go home. Yeah. So I had to check some bank accounts and some government things and my MPESA I needed to work on it just to be sure I can handle transactions while in Kenya. For those who are watching, thank you for following my journey from China to Kenya. Right now I'm in Nairobi city. Nairobi city. An auto in China is now an auto in Kenya. So we had an amazing experience so far. The journey was awesome. And, uh, this is my city, this is my town. I'm going to document and show you places you never know existed. But today I'm going to Isli. I'm going to Isli. This is Nairobi. I've been into four cities in one night. From Guangzhou. No, from Kunming to Guangzhou. From Guangzhou to Changsha. From Changsha to Nairobi. Four cities in one day. Four cities in one day. The police are picking up security over here. I want to go to Isli to check on some things also I will have enough time to rest later this is how the seats look like over here some parking some parking let me show you what's happening what's happening over here so, this is the nation media National Media Center. It's a public private broadcasting corporation. The National Media Center. Let's keep walking. Let's see what's happening around. I'm passing in the streets of Nairobi City. Welcome to my channel. Let's explore more. For those who have been following, I've been documenting about my life experiences in Kenya, in China. And uh, here I'm passing through some tombs. Here you can't pass alone in the night unless you care for, you don't care for yourself. And I want to go to Isli. I want to go to Isli. So to head this way, I know the shortcut. So. Don't mind me, I'm just passing through the shops as I take you along the journey. Let's see what's happening. As you can notice the difference between China and Kenya, here I don't get any attention. But in China, I get too much attention. So the stage for Isli is over there. No, I'm actually lost. But let's search for it. Let's search for it. Oh my goodness. It's a busy town, Nairobi City. I'm walking the corridors of Nairobi to discover Nairobi with me. And I actually, I want to do things first so that when I'm jet lagged, I'm okay. This was happening in this tomb. Let's make Nairobi work. As the city council, here people are buying some snacks. But that's not our focus today. I want to take you to Isli. 
I've not rested since I landed, but I will land. I will go back home. Oh, I'm just tired. The side of the screen is here. Gara is here, Gara is here. I have to withdraw some money. Hey, Mambo, let me withdraw 1000. Nezeka, Nezeka, there are twelve hundred. You are twenty and some more change. Twelve hundred. Thank Copy Max. Thanks. Let me 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 I didn't Thank you. Okay, bye. Okay, so I've withdrawn some money. I've withdrawn some money. There are two stages actually. So there I'm here. So let me figure out which one I need to. I think let me go to the other one. The one I'm used to. There are actually two stages. Welcome to my city. Here we do transactions with M Pesa. Mpesa, Mpesa is the way to go. But actually, I need to go and sit in the front seat. The front seat. With music. Sometimes a bit tricky. Next. Yeah, you like blue one. Okay. Blue one. Right. So this one is the next one. All right. All right. Hey, Mambo Dere. Kopoa. Watch and care up and you again or two and go up. It's leaning up. Ah, Busa. It's leaning. Twenty. Twenty means fifty shillings. Yeah, we're going. No, 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 I'm going to get up. I'm going to get Ah, okay, we're going with the ray. Awesome. Tell us. I'm going to shave. Shave and buy some stuff. I have a YouTube channel, so I normally post content. So don't worry, don't mind me. Yeah, I want to show people how his lead is. Yeah, so don't. What's your name? My name is Stanley. Stanley? Munua, nice to meet you. How long have you been a driver in this city? Uh, 20 years. 20 years experience? Yeah, yeah that's proper experience. <laughs> yeah. You started with a small vehicle and then yeah, you yeah, came yeah, to yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. 
okay, okay. Right about now, how is business? Business? Yeah. Business is not, it's not very good. Uh -huh. Especially because of the fuel. Fuel, because it's yeah, so high. Yeah, 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 the cost of the fuel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fuel. Oh, yeah. It's too high. And the cost of living also yeah, is yeah, yeah. so high. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. high rates of taxation. Yeah. Ushuru, Ushuru, everywhere. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Exactly. But how are you guys coping up? Hmm? Because I see it's just the same shilling, 50 shillings to sleep. Yeah, yeah. You've not hiked the price. Yeah, you, you see, also, also this beneath, hmm. also the people are, are down all. <laughs> you can't risk somebody. You can't overcharge them. Yeah, yeah. Because these are the people who yeah. you need yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yes. Okay, okay. Yeah. I relate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. So you're saying that uh, um, the cost of fuel is up, but they don't need to hike the price because this is the same people who yeah. they will carry. Yeah. Yeah. So you don't need, you don't want to lose clients, right? Yeah. 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 That's also, hey, Mambo yeah. Vipi. Of course, it's another yeah. guy here. Yeah. What's your name? Uh, Martin. Martin. Yeah. Nice to meet you. My name is uh, Brian, but okay. the name I, I do content for my YouTube channel. Okay. Uh, my YouTube channel is called Anoto in China. I'm not in China, that's the, my name of the YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's good. Awesome. How is business? Uh, business is running smoothly, uh -huh. although there must be charities. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Here and there. But you manage? Yeah, we are not really busy. You also a driver? I'm not a driver, I'm a conductor. Ah, uh, for this one? Not no. this one. Ah, the one, one in front there. Oh. Yeah. This one, but this one, this, this one is the next one. Yeah, 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 this yeah. Is the, oh, okay, okay. the one in front there. So let me wait. Uh, I, I I wanted to sit here because here I can be more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I can't sit there. I don't want to disturb uh, other passengers, mm -hmm. their yeah. privacy. I'm just documenting my life experiences, how I show up, where I share, yeah, and uh, posting it on my channel. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then. I actually landed from China, uh -huh. um, five hours ago. Five you are hours. From China. Yeah, okay, because this is Chinese time. 4:19. So, what time is it in Kenya? Kenya is uh, Kenya is 11. 11, 11, 11, 11. Oh, so I arrived today at 6:50. I arrived at 6:50. Mm. So I went home, took my luggage, and then came back, did some uh, did some errands around. So I had to go to his shave and buy some things, and then come back to town and go home. Uh, before I sleep. You go you go you get back there. Maybe I'll go next year, maybe. Uh, yeah, uh, but right uh, now uh, yeah. <laughs> Actually in China right now it's four thirteen. Four thirteen? Yeah, but right now in Kenya it's eleven o'clock. Yeah. Five hour difference. Okay, okay. nice to meet what you. What about nice the, to meet you? Okay. But yeah. what uh, about the climate? Uh, winter has started over there. Winter. Snow and stuff. Uh, so Very cold. Uh, uh, but I've got here it's raining, so maybe the same, but here no snow. They have, and, and there is very, very cold, extremely cold. Yeah, if you stay in the house, you have to put the heater on. Yeah, so okay. this is better. <laughs> okay, nice to meet you, bro. Okay, yeah, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah, nice time, man. Eh? Okay, okay. Yeah. Uh, Kenya is blessed because uh, we don't have snow, the weather is okay, yeah, 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 our food yeah. here is natural. <laughs> well, uh, if it is raining, but there, you see there is bar, uh, there is raining. They still hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it's so hot actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah very, very hot. Yeah. Actually, I think I'm sweating. I'm sweating. Very, very hot. You can see it's dangerous. Yeah, yeah. Very, very hot. Yeah, yeah. But uh, let's let's keep it real. Let's keep going. Hey, yeah, bro. Hey, pa. Popo. Me na ongea share. Na ongea pa na camera. Huh? Yeah, I'm telling you, I'm talking with this camera. So do you want to talk with the camera? Araf. Yeah. Talk. After talking, we appreciate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we appreciate yeah. it's new, but yeah. not appreciate with. Ma no, I'm not new. I, I know Kenya. I'm, I'm, I'm not new here. I'm oh, Kenya. You, you repay me? Yeah, I'm a Kenyan. Mama, you repay me? Maybe I pay attention. <laughs> yeah. I just Depends landed. So just no, no money. How much? Attention! Attention is free. <laughs> ah, this guy is. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. <laughs> no, this guy is. Maybe they think I'm Nigerian or something. But I'm Kenyan. Mambo Vipi. I'm Kenyan. 
Kenya. Yeah, to Tanzania, Sangapi. She is Tanzania, Usi. Usi, Usi, come and I. I'm Kenyan, bro. Don't worry. Yeah, nice to meet you. Okay, so this is the driver. Let's see how he yeah, does his thing. We are going to this This is the next car. And uh, no, no, it's me. You are here. You are the next one. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You jumped me. Oh, yes. <laughs> I know how. But, but here you must follow the line. You must follow the line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, they have a language. They call this Shimo. Yeah, yeah. Shimo means hole. <laughs> so. <laughs> Somebody took your hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. You, you need to jump them. Yeah. No, they jump to your hole. So you are the next hole for the hole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now it's your chance to take yeah. care of the hole. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'm going to as the hole, the slot or something. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who started? Shimo. Let me again say your Shimo. Who started? Started. The terminology Shimo. Shimo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We met it. How did this the, come? Calling, calling that. Shimo. Yeah. Why Shimo of all the things? Shimo is a hole. It's a hole. Yeah, so why Shimo? <laughs> why not space? Why not slot? I don't know what. Uh, why they, they call it. Yeah. Shimo is a hole. So yeah. if you tell somebody, you have taken my hole, yeah. you will say, okay, in Kiswahili it sounds better. Why Shimo? Watch and have to get it up to Shimo. It means let me look for a car, then I look for the, a hole. So it, the meaning really loses. Somebody might think maybe it's something sexual. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The river is Shimo. The river is looking for a hole. <laughs> In the SCG. So actually, all these cars, those are holes. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we basically, it, it's a stage. We call it holes. <laughs> In Kiswahili, it's called Shimo. <laughs> oh my goodness. That terminology. Shimo. The first time I heard about it was five years ago. Yeah, Shimo, Shimo, Shimo. And then, what was this Shimo? And then, over time, I related. And then, you used to find men, they fight over the hole. The, sh the Shimo, they have taken my hole. You've taken my hole. You've taken my hole. So it means they have hijacked their slot, or maybe they follow the number. So this one is the next one. This one jumped him, so he needs to follow the order. This one, we are going to question Moyako. This one had taken his hole, so he has to claim, to claim his hole back. <laughs> that terminology, man. <laughs> Whoever came up with that name, oh, that's a very weird name, Shimo. So a stage where the car parks is basically the shimo. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, Saitu yeah. Shimo. Yeah, yeah. And there are different sizes. Kama basi na shikuwa si shimo kubo. I'm saying there are different sizes of holes. Like a bus, it takes a big hole. But the Nissan takes a small hole. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. But all oh, they are called the same. They are called the same. Yeah, yeah. A hole is a, a hole. hole. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> That's very, very funny. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. This is an also in China. And I'm right now in Kenya. Just landed a few minutes ago. And now I want to go to his to experience what's happening there. And I'm here with Kadere, who's our driver. Stano. Yeah, yeah. Stano. In Kenya, we like to twist the name. So if you are Stanley, we call you Stano. Stano yeah. If you are Brian, we call you Brio. If you are Kevin, we call you Kebo. Kebo. If you are Odiambo, we call you Odis. Odis. If you are Otiano, we call you Otis. Odis. If you are Mwangi, we call you Mwas. Was. Yeah. Mm. Uh, if you are uh, Wanjiko, Wadera, Serero. Wanjiko Sony. Yeah, mm. so we have a way of testing us in here. Uh, awesome. Mm. How long does one car take to process yeah? this? <laughs> you have a lot of experience. Oh, I yeah. yeah, I'm completely Kenya. I know so much about Kenya. Yeah, I know it's, we're going to Sli Garissa. Yeah, ah, yeah, Amerikan. <laughs> yeah, so we're going to. It's where I'm Muslim. Uh, so he's saying I know a lot of things yeah, because I'm Kenyan by blood. I know I know everything here. 
Traditional African artists. Yeah. Well, first of all, what's your name? I'm Godfrey. Godfrey? Yes. From Afro Street Collection. Yeah, Godfrey, let me see. Come, come sit here. Uh, oh, this traditional artists. Yes. Oh, this is your own wear? Yeah. What? Uh, I have this one here. Oh. Oh, I can see, I can see. The trouser plus the top. Yeah, the top. Okay. How much could such be? Eight five. Eight five, eight thousand five hundred. Yeah. Oh, okay. So if I have a wedding, I can, you can come. Contact or a rural show. Yes, you yeah. can come and have some. Okay, so market yourself. Uh, this is my YouTube channel, it's called Anoto in China. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is your moment. Just say your name and what you do. And maybe if you you want people to reach you through the number. Okay, so I can so give them the number. Yeah, I can give them the number. So my name is Godfrey Chitira. Godfrey Chitira? Yes. Oh my science teacher I, used to be called Chitira. Okay. Yeah, chemistry actually. Uh, I work with Afro Street Collection. Afro Street Collection. Yeah. Uh -huh. If you want to see if anyone want to order, yeah. can come at our page, uh -huh. Afro Street Collection. On Facebook. On Facebook. On Afro Street Collection. Collection, yeah. Okay, okay. Then you can call the number uh -huh. 0724 uh -huh. 20 uh -huh. 75 uh -huh. 17. 0724 20 75 17. 17. Yeah. Plus, but you start with plus 254. Okay. Uh, I start plus 2547. 7 uh -huh. 24, 24 20 20. Uh, 7517. Yeah, so Afro Street Collection. Okay. So we are located at uh, a junction between uh, between Yashara Street uh -huh. and Koinange Street. Yashara Street and Koinange. At Yala Towers, fifth floor. Oh, I know Yala Towers. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That is where we are. Okay. So it, if you have a wedding, a rural show, Just and you need there. something African, as I've shown yeah. you, show them one more time so that they see and they relate. Yeah. You can. Book him on the number he has provided. You can follow them on their Facebook and um, you can give them business through that number. I hope you'll be able to get some clients from my uh, channel. Your YouTube channel? Yeah, my YouTube channel. It's called Anoto in China. So, I can this show is the, one of them. Yeah, this is the one of the designs. Yes. Yeah, maybe show three or four so that they can. Um, like, uh, also like the, this, this one. one. This one. Okay. Very beautiful. Um, others are here. Uh, maybe just two more uh, and then it will be awesome. So, yeah. uh, like this one. Yeah, if you are a church or you're planning for a Rurashio wedding, just come for it. Just come and uh, they uh, will another deliver. one is here. Um, like this one. A shirt and a trouser. Oh, like this one, a shirt and a trouser. Yeah, this oh, one. Yeah, awesome. So Afro, actually, this is this your this, logo? Yeah, this, this is our logo. Maybe this could this be is more Afro Street, Afro Street collection. collection. K with a C K yeah, K. Yeah, Afro Street collection. Yeah. So make sure to follow them, and if you're having an event 
or just you want to look good, contact them there. Yeah. yeah. You will find us there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank awesome. you. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, you can sit here, no worries. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Welcome, welcome. I appreciate as well. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. How long have you uh, done the clothes branding? Um, it has been nine years. Nine years? Doing this. Nine years, yeah. yeah. So, fully experienced. Yeah. Is this your own company? No. Uh -huh. I, I have my boss. You have your boss? Yeah. yeah. But in future, maybe you can start your own if yes. you are fully settled financially. With the time. Yeah, and time. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, awesome. Keep doing what you do. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. You are welcome. Awesome. What, once again, what's your name? Godfrey Chitira. Godfrey Chitira. Yeah. Okay. Do you face any challenges right about now in the business? Yeah, sometimes they yeah. are. Mm -hmm. Like which one? The customer come mm -hmm. and uh, you delay with this mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. so we have some problems but okay. we also note like some problems yeah. 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 I, I can relate because there's a time we were to um, to be to be part of a wedding and we went to a certain fundi fundi the one who makes clothes to measure our suits and to make them and then on the day of the wedding he did not deliver, so we were very, very frustrated. And up to today, he has never compensated. So, uh, how do you deal with such uh, demand? No, Sometimes as you get. We have never been hurt in mm -hmm. such a case. Mm -hmm. If you delay with your clothes, mm -hmm. you refund it. Or if you delay, you refund. Yeah, you refund. Oh, that's actually very good. Yeah. yeah. Because in this city, actually, I, I was, we were called a group of uh, eight of us, uh, uh, almost 80,000 worth of suits. Yeah, cumulatively. Yeah, so we had to 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 be in the wedding with jeans and just a white t-shirt, a white shirt. So it was very embarrassing. Yeah, but I trust to do a good job when people come. Yeah, they get value for your money. Yeah, some of those some of those challenges are not new. Yeah, many be few, but we don't have such a cases. Okay, okay. If you delay with your clothes, we will find you. Oh, yeah. That's actually a good policy because you don't frustrate the client at the end of the day. Maybe they have a wedding and it's a day that they will never, uh, it's a day they will remember. So in case of any inconvenience, just refund and then they find another alternative. But it's better if you are having a wedding, you plan early. Earlier so they come, come early so that they give you time. Maybe you know, so that's two another months or three months. Yeah. So you take time. You do a good job. Yeah. Not like I have a wedding next week and I want them then down you come now. Next week and I give you know. pressure. It will not even interfere with the yeah. activity. Yeah. 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 Awesome. So if you want to take your clothes at the time, mm -hmm. come early. Okay. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Like two months. Two months. To the wedding. Oh, two months. The wedding. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Let's, I hope you get some clients from my audience and you grow your business. They will be there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. They found us there. Yeah. Okay. And also check out Anoto in China. Anoto in China. Anoto in China, that's the name of my YouTube okay, channel. I'll check. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome. Okay, let's enjoy the journey. Okay. So right now the bus is full as you can see. And we are going to Isli. Isli Garissa. Why do they call it Isli Garissa? I even don't know. <laughs> Why do you call it Isli Garissa? Is it because most of the population of people from Isli come from, from Garissa? Garissa. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's because of that. Isli Garissa. Oh, ah. and how did Isli start? Before, before, after independence, how did Isli start? It just started as a shopping center, and then it improved to be a, a town on its own. Yeah. Something like that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think uh, something like that. And then, how did all the Muslims, majority of them, how did they find themselves in Islam? That also begs for a question. How did they come to say that we are coming all the way from Garissa or Somalia and we settled here? Or did they migrate? Were they allowed by the government? <laughs> anyway, I'll ask that question there. I see. I want to get a brief history of Islam. Yeah. I think maybe mm -hmm. some of those people who are there mm -hmm. who came from Carissa, mm -hmm. maybe they used to come with mm -hmm. their relative. Mm -hmm. If you come one, mm -hmm. then you call your relative. Oh, yeah, then and you call another, another. Yeah. so eventually you become so many. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that also could be a, a possibility. Uh, reason, yeah. yeah, yeah. 
but I'll go there. I will and, ask uh, around. Ask them. I'll ask them. Yeah. yeah. Some yeah. of them they can tell you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's see. Let's see. Journey with us. So let the journey begin. The car is full. Okay. Oh, but there. You know where I come from. We don't use cash. You can see I have already. <laughs> <laughs> I've already squeezed this. I was about to throw it at you. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> how, how can you throw money? <laughs> okay, where I come from, we don't use cash. Where do you come from? Okay, I'm Kenyan, but I've been in China for quite some time. We use WeChat, so you never touch money. Yeah. Like, I, I've never touched money for the longest time. How long have you been? Seven, seven months. Seven months? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are still in Kenya, <laughs> so you can't say that. I, I just came today morning. Morning. Yeah. Okay. So I just withdrew some money from the Mpesa. This one I was actually I was about to throw it. This one. <laughs> I was about to, <laughs> because I'm not used to paying with uh, cash. Uh, you see, even <laughs> it's not so, so you pay with Mpesa. Yeah. Um, China they have Weishi. It's called WeChat. You pay with WeChat. It's like WhatsApp. But you can make go to pay using yourself. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I need to give out this money before I throw it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe hold this. I pay for your fare today. Okay, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you very much. Welcome. I'll throw some money. I want to... Ah, this is a good one. For two. Okay. 
collection. Yeah. Follow them and give them some business. Alright, bye bye and bye bye from today. <laughs> getting some attention around this place. I don't want those guys to come and uh, ask me what I'm doing. So let's head this way and I'll tell you what's happening. Oh, I was, <laughs> I was actually knocked on the hand, but it's okay. So let me go. I want to go shave first. I miss my beards. 
I want them to be trimmed nicely by a guy called Hamza. Hamza is the one who shaves me for the longest time. They called him and he says he's there, so I want to shave. It's a city, it's a town for business. So many people do business around this place. Business. Ah, something. Ah. <laughs> you want me to go buy stuff? So let's keep moving. I think I need to go. I need to go. Let me keep walking. I'll show you what's happening. I see more businesses on the streets here than my person and on this other end of the street it means business here they do business and mission business is out of the way business, business this is the way to go some carpets some ladies wear some eggs. More lady stuff. This is other holes. Basically the stage where the car parks. You can see more business on the street. But I want to shave first and then I'll show you what happened about this place. I'm going over there. Over there, and I want you to experience it. I want you to experience wow. it with me. with me. Join me. This is a lot in China. And now, a lot in China is now a lot in Kenya. This is one of the famous stores, day to day mall. Here, you get everything household, every high, high. <laughs> Say hi, hi, hi. About the Ghani, Zuri Sara. This is day to day. One of the most famous malls in Kisli, day to day. You can you get everything from bags to household fridges to carpet. Hello. Carpet. Ah, I'm having fun, don't worry. <laughs> I don't want to get the attention. So they, we get everything over there. Eh? Ain ni chanel yangu ni tuwa anoto in China. Eh, anoto in China. Tuko pamoja. Tuko mbele pamoja. He says we are together. We are together. What do you sell here? Yeah. What do you sell? Bags. Bags. Suitcase. Suitcase. Briefcase. Briefcase. Everything. Everything. Yeah. And all of these are made in China, right now. No, Turkey, China. Oh, Turkey, China. More okay, but mostly of them China. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, I'm just from China by the way, right? I arrived today morning. You arrived today morning from yeah. China? Yeah, with so many guys who... So bring customers, bring customers, yeah. bring customers. From what country are we have place? Yeah, yeah, Where are we? Yeah, yeah. We are day to day, day Nisili. To day, uh, in Nisili. Day to day. Yeah. In Nisili. So day to day here, here in Nisili. Yeah. This is their shop. You can get it. What's the name of your shop? The name of shop? Where well, ended? <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay, actually, this guy's English is a bit of a problem because they come from Somali. So if I engage in English, <laughs> they tend to give up. So the guy has just given up on me. Say, where ended? We asked the name. So he's trying to construct a sentence, but the name is not coming. Sorry, I'm going up to Medina Mall. Medina Mall. And over there we have African Merchant Assurance. African Merchant Assurance. And Isli Social Board. This is what's happening. And also here, New Furniture Center. New Furniture Center. So let's keep walking. Let's see what Isli has to offer. What Isli has to offer. But here, just anything you need, name it, you'll find it. 
from the best household equipment, mobile phones, televisions, furniture, petroleum products, pharmaceutical products, medicine. If you want transfers, forex, name them. Everything is here at this league. They got you covered. Got you covered. More countries. Hello. <laughs> you good? Nice to see you. Uh, Right, so and here so many buildings are in construction and they normally construct very quickly so I need to go somewhere I need to go this way to go this way so that I show you the other parts of this league Miko <laughs> Kazi Ah, pamoja, pamoja. He asked me if he can get a job. <laughs> they think maybe I'm a big channel. But she, maybe in the future we're heading there. Over here, more spices. Spices and more spices. But first and foremost, I need to shave first. I need to shave. Yare Plaza. Yare Plaza. I normally shop here. I'll pass by to see if my friends are there. The ones I used to shop a few months ago. At Yare Plaza. Down. Yare Plaza. You can see more goods have arrived. Maybe they have come from China. Maybe. But now I go this way. I go this way and then. I go to my Baba. I miss my Baba. So let's go and see what's happening. My goodness, this backup generator means there's no electricity. You can see these are some of the houses the people stay. Some of the houses the people stay. It's leave, they mean business. And actually, most of the things that are uh, here in Isli, they are shipped from China. Because yesterday, while I was in Guangzhou, I met a guy who was with a bunch of also other Kenyan, Somali uh, businessmen. They were from procuring some goods and items to ship clean water. It also means that water, water is a problem over here. Water from the local city council is always rationed. So we have backup. And that's for our hotel. I was saying yesterday I met several uh, Kenya, Somali Muslims who actually do business here from China. So, and I thought it wise maybe I come and share, as I tell you, some brief history about China or as we try to discover uh, no, we try to discover about Isli Isli Let's see Here we have Duma Center Isli The Duma Center in Isli Just landed and I started rolling the camera just to have more feel and touch of Nairobi So this is one of the Kinyozis called five star but I go to El Hamad going to El Hamad Kinyoz El Hamad Hamad no 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 <laughs> El Hamadi so this is this is the place El Hamadi El Hamadi I'm going there Hamza is going to shave me let me see if he is there See there, Hamza from El Hamadi. This is the place. Actually, let me go in. So, ladies and gentlemen, meet Hamza. Hamza from Kenya. <laughs> Hamza. Long time no see. Hello. 
Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, work with the camera. Hey. Hey, how are you? Long time. 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 Long Long time. no I'm a Kenyan. I'm a Kenyan. I'm a Kenyan. I'm a Kenyan. a Kenyan. I'm 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 a I'm a I'm a I've worked for a long time. I normally do content about China, so I do content about China. China? Yeah. So I decided to come back and start with you. <laughs> okay. It's a mess. It's a mess. Total mess. Let's see. So in China I, I normally share my friend and my friend shares me. So oh. I tried going to the Chinese barber. I was shared by a woman. She messed up my hair. So I'm trying to I'm trying to make it better. So you shape it back. And my beard say they they went away so Shepherds. They don't have a <laughs> Okay, so how they going to shave me? So uh, let's see how it goes. They have transformed this place. Uh, this is me. I'm not resting for the past 24 hours. So there I am. There I am. I want to Hey, Hamza, I need to charge something. Yeah, yeah. I need to charge. This one. Yeah, the charger is a bit easier. You have the charger. I only have this. You have the Type C people? Yeah, I have the Type C. So this is how I look before. Let's see how I look after if my look will be restored. So see you at the end of this video. This is before. Let's see after. And this is Hamza from Kenya. Hamza from El Hamadi, Kinyos. This is my official barber. How long? How many years have you shared with? How many years have you shared with? Five, I think six. Six years. Six years. Yes. Men are faithful to one barber. <laughs> Men okay. Are Men are loyal. Okay, so let's see. Let's see how it will look at the end of the video. So, see you at the end of this video. So, I'm here shaving. Hamza is shaving me. And I'm asking Hamza a question. I want to know the history of his Lee. So Hamza, tell me something. How did his Lee start? Like the Indians used to live here. Indians used to live here. Mm -hmm. uh, and before independence or before and after independence? Mm -hmm. After, after, after. After independence. Mm -hmm. So actually his Lee was started by Indians. So the name... The Indians used to live here then they sold the properties to they sell the property to Kikuyu. Now they are selling them to the Somali guys. Oh, no, so now the Kikuyus are selling to the Somali guys. Yeah. And uh, they have been how they have been so the Somali buy the land and develop. Yeah. Oh. They buy the small plots. Yeah. Were you born here? Yeah. So you know everything about this place. 
In the 80s. Yeah, that's right, that's right. In the 80s. So Hindus, they came, they bought it, then they sold to the Kifu. They built it. They built it because the structures, yeah, yeah, yeah. most of them are old. Yeah. yeah, but now people are buying the old building and destroying and building new buildings. Yeah, they demolish and build the new buildings. And the name is Lee, where does it come from? The Indians or the. No, no, I just had a city within a city. A city within the actually it is a city within a city. A city. <laughs> so we don't know, but the it's near the name itself it sounds Somali. It's not Somali. It's English name. It's English name. It's le it sounds Somali. It's English name. Oh, because I hear maybe in, in London also there is a place called Isle. I think they copy they come from here. <laughs> it's really. So maybe the Europeans, the people who call other guys are the ones who them. This was good story that after the tenant or the defendant. I don't know, I don't know where like before. Uh -huh. Before the Indians used to, to stay here because even the design of the house is Indian. Yeah. Yeah. And how comes right now the Somalis have occupied all the buildings here? Yeah, yeah, and not in the building and they are they are developing the building from very small houses to higher up the buildings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, that to fifteen floors, twelve to fifteen floors. I'm actually astonished how the the Somalis have been man, have managed to be close together in this city. This is not their central land, but they have occupied it at a very fast rate and they have developed it. Does it come with the skill of uh, entrepreneurship and knowing how to make money, having that with the structure? It's a small thing, they trust each other so much, so they think they are like the full land, 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 the uh, and they develop together like... Or they develop together. So maybe if I am a rich person in my family and I see an opportunity somewhere, I'll call my brother and support him until his business starts. And they don't deal with family members. Uh -huh. They are friends. They are friends. Okay. So they support Because actually, it's leave is the number two revenue collector in Nairobi, yeah. Nairobi city, and then it's leave. Yeah. Uh, so the KRA offices there. Also, KRA offices are here. Oh, that's awesome. And before, what has changed when you are born and right now? The population. The population. The business. The business. A long time ago, what business were they doing? A long time ago, what business were they doing? Oh, it was a residential. Oh, people just So how did it? How did it change to be a commercial area? How did it start being a commercial area? Garissa, oh the famous Isli Garissa, Isli Garissa. So they used to refer that one. Say it's Liga Risa, it's Liga Risa. It used to be a big, it's a big, it's still it's a mall. It's still a mall. It's a mall called Garissa. Garissa Lodge. Yeah. Is it around this place? No, it's not around this place. It's like, like four, five streets from here. Four, five streets. Yeah. I wish to go there and see. 
the first building was it's big, the first commercial building. And then after that, it brought life yeah. to this place. Another one came and another one and another one. Actually, my 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 style is coming back. It had faded. It had faded. <laughs> Good job. But also the Muslims, they whenever they see an opportunity, they like to call their friends to tap into the opportunity. So that's how this year's grown is. Yeah. But okay. Yeah, not the video noise, but I'm saying the 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 art for example we go to China. And I see an opportunity, and I call you Hamza. There's a, yeah, an opportunity. That's what, that's what is. Yeah, come that's and let's try to work this out. So you come and maybe you succeed, and then also you have somebody whom you want to help out. So eventually, 10, 20 years down the line, the whole community or you, have, you empower so many people at the end of the day. Yeah, in terms of They work together. This is the trust. The trust is what makes them more people. Others don't want to have a chance to Yeah, so it's all about the support and the trust. I think that's the basic need of humanity. I think trust is the first ingredient. It's the goodwill of a business. Yeah. You have to trust. Because without trust, you can't do business. Yeah. So, in the next like 20 years, also, it will transform more. Yeah, yeah. Where is that mode? So what is, is it complete? Oh. I will go there right now. I'll first check the Garissa Lodge, the first commercial. And, okay, I want to see the past and I want to see people, to show people the present and the future. Oh, the Garissa Lodge is not there? Yeah, the old house is not there. Oh, the old house? Oh, so no need to go there. Okay. Oh, so just do... What's the name of that mall? The mall is called BBC Mall. Oh, the center. BBC Center. Is it near or I take a motorbike? Okay. And I, am I allowed to record there? Yeah, I see. I allow to do the photo. Okay. Actually, let me head to that place after I'm done sharing here. But it's good to know the history of this league. And uh, we have an army barracks here. Yeah. How did that army barracks come to be? Airbase. Do you know the history of that airbase? I think it's a colony. Oh, for real? I never noticed that. Yeah, that's why. 
it was started by the colonialists and then when we got our independence, the Kenyan government took over. Yeah. Taking shape. Taking shape. In China, there are no there are no Chinese who know how to shave the African hair. Yeah. So if, if you come there, you'll get a good opportunity. And you know how much I pay to shave? Over there. Over there. There's a place for... How much? The list is around 50 yuan. But not proper shave, just shaving the hair and you go. Not style like this. And there's also one for 1,600, but just sh shaving and nothing much. But it's not good quality. So if you get somebody who can shave the Kenyan hair, and maybe go to a city like Guangzhou, Beijing. Yeah, yeah, not so. Yeah. You have like the rest population. Yeah. But in Guangzhou and Shanghai and. Uh, yeah, Guangzhou and Shanghai and uh, Beijing. There are so many Africans over there. So here you shave 20 people a day. That's good business. On our last day. Yeah. Actually, you market yourself. Maybe phone number somebody wants to, to shave. What's your phone number? I just come to sleep. It's me, El Hamad. El Hamad. El Mahad. El Mahad. You don't want to give your number. <laughs> no. Uh, I'm the like the digital way. El Hamad. Come to El Hamad and you find me. And close to Twelve years. Opposite to Now that you are born and bred here, what was uh, is it then and what is it now? And what challenges does it have now, which were not in the past? So the good thing is that there is an opportunity for so many people. So many people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, 100,000 people come to see every day. So coming here and doing that is 100. So that's 1 million a day in the transport sector. Yeah, so I'm saying if it's 100,000 people, yes, every day is very good. And what's the biggest challenge of this league? Infrastructure. But they're very, very poor infrastructure. Yeah, I showed the people the generator in the building. How about security? Security is okay. Security is okay. Security I can walk with this camera and nobody will bother me. I've never heard of any insecurity. There is no case of insecurity in China. China is the safest place. Women can walk in the city at night and they are, and they are safe. 
<laughs> if I could get a good barber in China, I could shave my beards. But now I have to shave all of them. <laughs> Most of the people I've interacted before with most of the traders here in Sli, they say the poor infrastructure and the bad drainage. When the rain comes, it's good for business because when it rains, people tend to get shelter around the buildings. So, in the process of taking shelter, they may want to see what's around, and that's the that's how they end up buying stuff. So they say it's good for business. <laughs> Today I've passed with so many luggage, so I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm protected. I've passed with a lot of luggage. Oh, yeah. Three taxis? No. I had ten phones with me, a laptop, this camera, and the other... They didn't tax you? No, they didn't tax me. Because sometimes we were so many, but others were telling them to go, go, go aside, go aside. In this aspect? Yeah. I've seen... <laughs> There's, a, there's somebody who has been caught with so many dildos. <laughs> so many dildos and, <laughs> and bullets and guns. They were bringing them into the country. That was what's the current situation in the betting market. But anyway, that's how it is. So, let me finish my share. Here yeah, you can see how it is catching up. My look is coming back. My look is coming back. This is my Kenyan look and this is a lot in China. I'm having a conversation with Hamza about the history of his league. He says his league was formerly an Indian on uh, a residential. Then the Indians sold them to Kikuyus and then Kikuyus sold them to majority of the Muslim community. And the Muslim community introduced the culture of business. The first building in Isli was the Isli Garissa Lodge, but it was destroyed. And then other businesses came 
And the reason why the Somali people are good in business is because they 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 work with trust and also they are hard working. So that makes them stand out. Trust is the goodwill of any businesses. Right now this place has been transformed and right now we have the biggest mall in East Africa. It's called BBC. BBC Mall. What's the name of what's the meaning of BBC? Business you said. Business? Yeah. BBC is business in Something business center. Business center. Business center. Oh, business center. Okay. Oh, no, it's a look at Yara Bora Barsa. I'm a loose. He's putting it down. I'm a little bit in a full idea. I'm a school. And now when did you realize you have the talent of shaving or well, it I takes just, time? I just woke up one day and then I, and I told myself I know how to shave. And, the, I, and, and you? And that's, from there that's the thing. Yeah. Till now, mm -hmm. I'm doing this job. Yeah. So it's profitable. Yeah. Actually, shaving is a very good job right now. Yeah, the first used to, for those guys who went to school, but these yeah. days it's, it's a professional like they yeah. have. Yeah, and the fancy, fancy places, like you see how this place is pimped. Like how much is it to shave one person right now? Right now it's like, it's not expensive, And you know when I met you first, we used to shave with 250. Yeah. Like and, and everything is paid. Yeah. And then it went to 300, mm. and then it went to 350, and then before I went to China, it was 450. Right about now is 500 because of the taxation of Yeah. Do you think the price will go will continue going up? I think something. Uh, and do you wish to start your own store? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you will start your own store and you retire and mentor young barbers. <laughs> maybe you have another alternative? Yeah, maybe I have to try something. Something, yes. Yeah, maybe you to try something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's possible. Oh, awesome, awesome. Have you ever shaved any prominent person apart from me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, you don't, we don't ask people what they do. So yeah. you just have come in like... Do uh, your best. Yeah, you just do what people do. Yeah, but I like that. Uh, I like that. Do your best to everyone. Let me check. My look is coming back. To come to China and shave me. <laughs> yeah. I'm not in China. Money. <laughs> if you have money, you can go everywhere. And then maybe you have to apply for a visa. After you get the visa. Maybe you can choose maybe a business visa, you can come as a tourist, or you can come you do do work in visa. Yeah, now you have to get somebody and then he will send you like an invite mm -hmm. so that when you go to the embassy or to the mm -hmm. chancellor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, the, you have that uh, calling letter or invitation letter. So after that you have to pay for the visa, wait for a week for it being processed. And then afterwards you book a ticket once you have your visa and then you go do your thing. So you, have, you must have money to pay for the flight. Mm -hmm. yeah. If you book in advance, it's cheap. But if you book late, like if, I, if I'm to travel in the next six months I book now, mm -hmm. I can end up spending 40000 mm -hmm. But if I wait, maybe I'm traveling next month, I, I pay now, I'll maybe spend close to 
100 to 150,000. Yeah, if you book early, it's cheap. But if you book late, it's very expensive. The time I was Why going, the you know, airlines have a way of doing business, so people normally have a tendency to be last minute rushers, so they take advantage of that. But if you book early, you'll spend less. Six months, we have no idea about that. That's now what controls the business now. You're not sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. So like you're going back to China, you, you book your ticket early? No, I already even, I paid a, a return ticket. Oh. Yeah. So it's much cheaper. Because I know if I stay and there, I say, let me book in December. Mm -hmm. Going back in January, it will be very, very expensive. Yeah. Last time I was going, the highest flight was 2000, uh, not 2000, was 250,000. If you book late, but if you book early, you pay around uh, between 80 to 150k, depending on the time. Which flight do you use? I use China Southern Airlines. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you work direct from Kenya? Uh, yeah, from, direct from Kenya to China. Mm -hmm. Last time we, we, leave, we left Jomo Kenya International Airport to, to Guangzhou by Yun Airport. It's a direct flight. It's a Boeing 787. Big machine. Yeah. Capacity? 230 passengers. Yeah, on board. Or more, I'm not so certain of you. It's a big, it's a big, big machine. Yeah, and the Chinese have started manufacturing their own planes. They started, they launched one this year. It's called Comac. Yeah, Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China Limited. So Comac, like we have the company, Comac now is the company. Like we have Boeing, we have Airbus. Now we have Comac. Yeah. And they were planning to manufacture 1,500. So they will take business from the Americans. Yeah. You know, in Africa, you know, China, because of things. Yeah. But, yeah, but in China, if you want something original, you'll get. If you want something fake, you'll also get. So, Comac or the Commercial Aircraft Corporation of China was established in 2008, based in Shanghai, which is closely linked to AVIC, the Aviation Industry Corporation of China, which makes uh, turbo pros, jet fighters, and bombers. The C-19 and the Boeing 7 So Comac will take over soon. They mean business. <laughs> All right. So let's finish shaving, and then we meet at the other end of the break. This is an auto insider. Can you say that? No, I can't. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I didn't hear what you said. This is a noto in China. This is a noto in China. A noto in China. But now I'm in China. That's the name of my channel, actually. Oh, a noto in China. Mm -hmm. I sent you some of my videos. Yeah, yeah. I want to document my life experiences in China. Yeah. See, you are the head of the breath. This is a noto in China. <laughs>
this they say Jagashi Anoto Zai Jongo. This is a lot in China. Jaga. A little. <laughs> a little Chinese. Just to survive. But Chinese is a very hard language. There's nothing hard if you're interested. Yeah. If you have interest in something, yeah. it's never hard for me. For me I never had interest. I need to survive. So either you have interest or you are in, you you need to survive, you will you'll have to learn something. Chinese can help you learn some Chinese. Yeah. What's your real name? Peter Jerome. Mm -hmm. Ham. So they put Za. Hamza. Hamza. Hamfri. So you. And, and then it came up like Hamza. Hamza. Like me, they call me Burhan. Because my name is Brian. Most of the Muslims here, they call me Burhan. Maybe it's the Muslim name for Burhan. Somali name for Burhan. 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 Yeah, yeah.